Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. I'm going to do a little harvesting today of some uh, kale and collard greens and I thought I'd take you all along with me. As you can see the kale has gotten really big and I want to go on and get those larger leaves now so that it can continue producing more. See here, they're pretty large. Starting with the, trying to get the lower ones at the bottom. Allow the center to continue to grow. And one thing about these raised beds is that you don't want to space them too far out um, because if you do, you have trouble getting in there, especially to the things that are in the center. I think this bed is about three to four feet apart. I mean wide. Any further than that would be a little difficult for me to be able to reach. These grew really fast. Almost fell there. Get a little bit more. And while I'm here, let me go on and get the BT and spray the rest of these. This is my spray bottle of my BT solution. You can see where they've been biting on the cabbage. Looks like they're trying to form a head, so I'm just giving it a good spring. I'm going to go around to the other side. And now I'm going to pick some collards over here. 
but this is my container of kale that I've collected today. I think that's a very nice harvest. Now the collards appear to be pretty much eaten up, so I'm going to try to get some of the better leaves. Sorry about my shadow. It's a little sunny today. And you harvest these the same way with the outer leaves first and leaving the center so they can continue to grow. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to film this with one hand. around to the other side. These are the Brussels sprouts of course. A lot of the leaves are falling. I was reading an article just yesterday uh, stating that um, collard greens are some of the most nutritious leafy vegetables um, you can find but they were saying that um, by the time they leave the farm to the grocery store they have lost about 80 percent of their nutritional value so I'm really thankful that I'm able to grow a lot of food and it doesn't have to travel very far from the garden to the kitchen. That is really a blessing. I thank God for that. But I'm not gonna make this a long video. Just wanted to share with you today that I'm harvesting my kale and collards. And I have a little more to harvest out of here. And as you can see, the bugs have been biting on a lot of the leaves. And I'm going to spray this bed as well uh, with some of my BT and uh, hope that will take care of it. And of course, as the temperatures get a little cooler, uh, a lot of the bugs also um, will, um, will leave and it'll be much better uh, probably uh, for the next harvest. And uh, looks like I've got one tomato here. I'm gonna go on and grab it before the squirrels get to it. And oh, got one okra here. One okra here, and I'll check also with the uh, purple hull peas. Normally there's always something ready on them as well. 
Here's one. Here are a couple more. Over there and that's just out of one container so I'm gonna go back and um, get a little bit more but just wanted to come on and share with you that I'm doing my first main harvest uh, for the fall season thank you so much for watching and if you're new to my channel I hope that you consider subscribing hit that like button for future videos and for all of you who are returning Thank you so much again for your support and your time. <clears throat> God bless. Bye-bye.